بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الأخوة والأخوات الطلاب والطالبات أرحب بكم اليوم ونقدم لكم درس في منهج مديغو في منهج ميجا جول 2 يونت 4 وتحديدا الدرس العاشر في صفحة 64 Okay guys, uh, for now we'll go over the, um, the, the beginning or the introduction of this. Inshallah we are uh, going to have writing. Let's now uh, start. How many remote controls do you have at home? What kind of devices are they used for? Read the article and identify the different stages that remote controls went through. So now, or today, we are going to, to, to write something about how are the changes or the improvements in using remote controls or the remote controls industry. Let's now uh, read or listen to the, um, to the passage or to the uh, piece of writing. The Daily Reading Journal. We tend to think of remote controls as new devices. However, what we now take for granted at home or at work has been developed over a very long time. One of the earliest examples... So, we tend to think of remote controls as a new devices. However, what we now take for granted at home or at work has been developed over a very long time. Actually, this is a piece of newspaper, as you see here, the Daily Reading Journal, or it's a journal, a magazine, or such a thing. So, in this part, the, the writer talked a little about the, the beginning of making remote controls and how they were using them. The remote control was developed in 1898 by Nikola Tesla, who demonstrated a radio-controlled boat to the public during an electrical exhibition at Madison Square. So the remote controls originally um, made by someone called Nikola Tesla, that's in 1898. Her garden. In 1903, Leonardo Torres Quevedo presented the Telekino at the Paris Academy of Science. It consisted of a robot that executed commands transmitted by electromagnetic waves and was a pioneer in the field of remote control. The so then there is another one, his name Kavedu, who actually invented another type of remote controls that was in Paris Academy of Science. It consisted of robot, robots, so now they started to use robots executed commands transmitted by electromagnetic waves, electromagnetic waves, waves. If you know waves, if you're interested in physics, you can remember this. By electromagnetic waves and was a pioneer in the field of remote controls. So he was a pioneer. A pioneer means the first one who did change in this industry. First remote controlled model airplane flew in 1932. And by the late 1930s, several radio manufacturers offered remote controls for some of their more exclusive models. The first television remote control was developed in 1950. It was called Lazy Bones and was connected to the television set by a wire. A wireless and then an ultrasound remote control were developed in the mid-50s, but neither was reliable. So in here, uh, it's, the, it's a little bit of talk about... In 1932 and the late 1930s, served the radio manufacturers, those who are making radios, offered the remote controls for some of their more exclusive models. The models of radios have remote controls. The first television remote control was developed in 1950. It was called Lazy Pulse. So the first remote control that's used for TVs, these TVs, used in 1950, it was called Lazy Pulse. The, the name is Lazy Pulse. And was connected to the television set by a wire. So it was connected to the television. For example, this, this is a television, and the remote is connected by a wire. By a wire.
More sophisticated television remote controls were introduced in the late 70s, but they had a limited number of functions, sometimes as few as three. Next channel, previous channel, and volume off. Remote controls with a wider range of functions. The new generation of remote controls started to, to produce in the 70s or the late 70s, and it has some features, for example, next previous and the volume and of course off and on were finally launched in the 80s and became an immediate success for the first time viewers no longer watched programs just because they did not want to get up to change the channel they could also channel surf during commercials or turn the sound off by the early 2000s the number of remote controls increased, along with the number of electronic devices. Consumers needed a remote for each device. This led to the development of universal remote controls that can be used with different devices. Imagine controlling everything around you with the touch of a button. On so finally, by the early of 2000s, the number of remote controls increased along with the number of electronic devices. So there, there is no benefit of using remote controls, especially uh, uh, when, when the devices or the new devices, for example, the, the uh, smartphones and the computers used widely. So there's no need to, to, to use remote controls, especially in TVs. One single remote control. Is it wonderful or scary? So is this wonderful or scary? Think about this, guys. Let's move to... Oh, let's back to, to this part. How many remote... Or read the article and identify the different stages that remote controls went through. Years, decades, people involved, main characteristics and functions. Actually, these or this staple is divided into different parts. As you see, we have the year and the people who involved, the, the, the generation, main characteristics, means benefits and functions, the way that remote control or that device work. Okay, we'll, we'll start by the, the, the first part. So the, the, the beginning of using remote controls was in 1898 by Nikola Tesla, remote control of movement to radio controlled port. In 1903, Leonardo Cherskovendu transmitted command to a report by electromagnetic waves pioneer in remote control. The telecan report exhausted or executed commands transmitted by electronic, electromagnetic waves. In 1932, there is nothing. Remote control flew remote controlled model airplanes. In late 1930s, there is nothing with people involved. Radio remote control change stations, frequencies, regulate volume. In 1950, connected to television, set by wire, television remote control. In the mid-50s, wireless and then ultrasound remote control, television remote control, and in the late 70s, more sophisticated television remote controls, limited next channel and volumes, volume off. How many remote or did you find any new information in the article? What did you learn? Read the article again and decide what the focus topic of each paragraph is. Work in pairs and compare your answers, then report in class. Read the last lines of the article. What do you think? Is it wonderful or scary? Why? Actually, you can do this um, by, by yourself or you can do it with a colleague. Yes, paragraph one, it's introduced or the, the paragraph introduced the article or the theme 
about the remote control. The second paragraph, the early examples of remote control. The third paragraph, early television remote controls. The first television remote control. Paragraph th four, more sophisticated remote controls in the 17th onwards. The fifth paragraph, developments in the 2000s, universal remote controls. Okay, guys, uh, this is our job for today. Thank you very much.